No taxpayer dollars should be used to teach our kids to hate our country or to hate each other. The Florida Department of Education tossed out 54 math textbooks for trying to indoctrinate students. Half of the prohibited titles feature critical race theory. The state DOE ultimately tossed out 41% of the 132 math textbooks submitted for including CRT, Common Core and Social Emotional Learning. The DOE said 71% of the material submitted for elementary school students were not appropriately aligned with Florida standards. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis had banned CRT as a component in Florida schools saying it was indoctrinating students in woke ideology. The state says publishers were warned ahead of time to make sure the books complied with the law and said they are free to alter the books and try again. Well, it's very simple. Uh, the public schools are public institutions. They're responsible to the legislature and the voters who get to determine the values that those institutions transmit. So the Stop Woke Act, it just ab abolishes and bans uh, racialist abuse in the classroom and in the workplace. Uh, it codifies exactly what that means and then gives parents and employees uh, the, actually the ability to sue schools and employers uh, that racially stereotype, scapegoat, or demean them on the basis of race. Uh, and, and so this is common sense legislation. It basically evens the playing field of our civil rights laws. Uh, and I think it's a huge step forward. It makes the practice illegal so parents can actually take this uh, to the principal, to the school board, uh, to the attorney general, uh, and into the courts uh, to say if you're promoting racialist ideology, uh, you're abusing kids, you're violating the law, uh, and then the parents can actually win uh, legal fees in return. Uh, but the legislation is, is very simple. Uh, it just states that this is what we endorse as a state, as a country, this is what we do not, and this is what we will not permit to happen in the classroom. Uh, and so what it does is it gives power to parents to enforce it at the very local level. Uh, another element of upcoming legislation in Florida and other states is transparency. Every parent has a right to know exactly what's being taught in the classroom, uh, so parents and schools and teachers can negotiate it at the very local level. It's about taking power away from unaccountable bureaucrats, giving power back to parents. Uh, but what we see over and over is that critical race theory is resegregating the institutions of the United States. I just broke a story uh, today where they're actually holding a racially segregated field trip in suburban Chicago. Uh, this is a practice that is pernicious. It's, de it's designed to divide us. We have to put our foot down, and parents need to rise up and say, we won't tolerate racist abuse. We won't tolerate racial segregation, and we won't tolerate a curriculum that trashes the United States and seeks uh, to destroy our fundamental and founding institutions. Uh, it's so toxic. It's so absurd. It's so ridiculous. Right? Um, it's just disgusting that we even have to consider this. Uh, we should exactly. have public institutions for everyone. They should treat everyone equally as an individual. In my opinion, I'm glad that they are doing their best to keep math just math and not put race into the textbooks. Schools need to stick to the core curriculum and figure out another way to tackle the issue of race. Why can't we just teach kids to treat everyone equally and that you should judge people by the content of their character and not by skin color? Have a happy Easter and be safe out there everyone, much love dum dum. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the dum dum news channel, I'm dum dum.